Hello everybody, welcome back to another video in a new year, right, that's right, we are now in 2023, I hope everybody had a good time uh, celebrating and you know, all this stuff, I was making some videos, just as you can see here, we are trying now this Lumen test from Unreal Engine 5, I got it compiled from Unreal Engine, so as you can see, here let's go test everything put the screen percentage 100 percent here let's go put lumen gi reflections see everything is working good i think right now we have what i said 1440p i ah, don't mind me i'm doing voiceover after recording the video so it might not align up perfectly but uh yeah here we are running around 1440p i think it's maximum settings that we are uh, playing over here, uh, changing some position of the sun to see if there's any performance drop, but uh, yeah, so far so good, it runs okay, uh, but uh, this is encouraging right now what you're seeing here, but uh, you will see later, <laughs> it's not so good, or at least the things I compiled from Unreal Engine 5, something went wrong because the performance and everything was... Uh, shit to be saying <laughs> in the next uh, two games it was matrix the city and uh, this uh, valley of the ancients as you can see the reflections here they look all nice and the average fps was around 50. okay so uh, let's change here now uh, settings to the epic settings and let's see how much we drop uh, oof, it looks a bit nicer than before, but uh, we dropped about 15 FPS, well, even more, look, 20. But uh, I'm not sure if that's worth the sacrifice on A770. So, uh, yeah, but it looks nice once I got here and uh, rotates at some sun to see some more burning skin. <laughs> uh, everything looked really amazing on 1440p native setting. And, uh, yeah, uh, check out the memory usage. Right now we are at about uh, 7, 8 gigahertz, but uh, now we put on cinematic, look, look, and we are now <laughs> at 10. <laughs> gigabytes and uh, look the performance dropped big time now we are running 15 fps i mean it was still kind of playable but uh yeah not a good experience to see and the uh, difference in graphical this performance and uh, how it looked was not that big to sacrifice what now 40 fps to have this cinematic experience but uh, okay do mind that this is not an optimized game or anything this is just pre-compiled from demo so yeah okay let's do some torture testing now on 4k <laughs> cinematic <laughs> let's see what will happen what do you think will you have about 5 fps 4 fps oh something broke uh, it did not change here because ah, yeah, i remember here uh, something broke because I did not have full screen. Uh, I tried applying here 1080p and as you can see the performance was still the same. I was clicking and nothing happened. I figured out later on that I need to press uh, full screen. As you can see now I will probably go. No? Okay, graphical settings here worked and I was then wondering what happened. So let's try to change the resolution and everything was still the same. You see I was testing different kinds, full HD and did not apply weird just weird uh, but uh, yeah once i change to full screen you will see everything then worked good okay look now it's changed see now as you can see also the aims after burner and uh, graphic settings all became a bit blurrier but the performance is the same as on 1440p so yeah you can see the optimization doing its work here <laughs> <laughs> sarcasm okay look but we get about 10 maybe 12 fps more on cinematic settings running around here checking how everything looks and if we get any performance drop but uh, everything seems fine because if you, you can see the frame time graph up there it's a flat stable line so that's uh, good to see no stuttering even at 22 fps so the performance is stable okay now let's go back to epic settings and see how it performs here see now we have 50 fps here on epic settings and 65 on high where before we had at 1440p what 50 
So yeah, for 1080p, high epic settings, Unreal Engine 5 games, 60 FPS, I think we can expect that. <laughs> I mean, it's not perfect, like I said before, but uh, Intel is doing its job optimizing everything. And each driver I tested after updating them, there were always performance improvements. And, oh, I have to note that uh, now uh, there's no uh, crashes with the uh, control panel, so that's good. Okay, now here we go, 4K, we got 30 FPS on high settings, mm, now that's more like it, this is already playable, like if you ask me, maybe put this on a big TV 4K screen, and you got, okay, not a solid 30 FPS in this case, but uh, it was okay, it was okay running around, it was, you know, smooth. I was used to before running games at 30 FPS because I had low budget uh, PC and uh, yeah, for the, these kinds of purposes it looks fine, it, especially at 4K. So let's murder the GPU a bit more. <laughs> Here we have, uh, see, up in the corner we also got about 9, 9 gigahertz, gigabytes of uh, memory usage, if not 10, and we got 20 FPS. <laughs> This this was not that playable, uh, how should I say, better to run at high, especially at this kind of resolution, because the graphical difference is really minimal in this case, or maybe I'm blind, I don't know. I might include the links to download this if anyone prefers uh, and uh, to test this out on your GPU. So let's go cinematic, okay, this is total murder, oh my god, look at the... <laughs> Memory usage jump to 15 gigs, <laughs> 14, 15, and the FPS, oh, it's torturing the graphic card, it was screaming beside me, oh, you should have heard that, oh my god, the coil wine was, <laughs> oh, really bad, really bad, the coil wine, and this, obviously, it's not playable, maybe if there would be an option for uh, XESS or FSR, maybe we would have seen about 20 FPS, 15 FPS, 30, who knows, it depends a lot on the optimization, and uh, yeah, that's about it for this demo, the next two demos you will be disappointed <laughs> big time, let me just warn you right ahead, because uh, Valley of the Ancients, was uh, really bad, it did not render the s graphics or anything. Also, the Matrix demo you will see of... I'm not sure why, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. So you will see what I mean by telling you this right now. So, okay. Here we have... Oh, but we do have sound now, see? Valley of the Ancients, if you remember this demo, it should have been a lot of uh, this uh, sand and, uh, you know, you saw the demo probably, if not, uh, yeah, this is not how it should look like. <laughs> but I'm amazed it actually worked, because at first it crashed big time. I Like, when I launched the, the demo, I had like 10 crashes before even getting inside the demo to test it out. Uh, here I tested this on RTX 3090 and I kind of remember the way where to go but everything is so invisible. I, it took me <laughs> ages as you can see I didn't know where to go and still nothing was rendering. I'm not sure why because I even tested this on AMD, it worked fine. And uh, on NVIDIA, obviously, it works fine. But uh, yeah, you can see that big ball down there. That's the boss, you know, the big uh, stone guy that comes out and shoots these lasers or fireballs to you. <laughs> right now, it just looks like a what, spawn point. I think it's a spawn point for this guy. Once you get there, you will see this activates. And then, uh, yeah, uh, you will see maybe you will see maybe you will see you will you will see what i mean by maybe i'm got stuck here running around you know i was really amazed that it still did not crash because 
Sometimes it launched the game and when I move this orb to spectate around this area that this demo has, uh, it instantly crashed. I don't know why. So uh, yeah, also I tested it inside the Unreal Engine editor and uh, I had the same issues there. But maybe I was doing something wrong. I don't know. But yeah, okay, here we are at the boss fight. Everything is so laggy. Look, oh, with the whole screen froze. 2 FPS, 6 FPS. Look at this guy. Here now, everything would have been effects, everything crashing. This guy is standing up. But as you can see, the effects and graphics textures, they are not loading in. <laughs> Which, uh, yeah, not good, not good in this case. <laughs> Here I was trying to battle, but uh, yeah. it crashed as soon as it shot. <laughs> like it said that I did not record the crashing experience. Uh, yeah, so let's move on to the Matrix City demo. You will be surprised by this one. <laughs> oh, it also crashed like 15 times before I was even able to launch the game into this. <laughs> Look at this. What is happening? I'm not sure. We just see people walking above uh, what is this water. And look, uh, guys are driving. I mean, it tried to render the car there, as you can see, but uh, no, uh, I'm not sure why. Oh, these controls in this demo, uh, yeah, I should have checked beforehand online because you can do change some settings as you can see I open this menu, but never have I tested this before, so I'm not sure uh, what hotkeys to press to open this menu to change the textures, you know, that kind of stuff. So yeah, I'm sorry for this. Might do another video if I figure out how to actually make this uh, demo to render. The textures and everything but yeah check this out and enjoy the experience if this is enjoyable to you <laughs> here i was uh, playing around you know pressing hotkeys one two three four five six seven eight nine ten two four five okay five four top off but nothing worked so yeah i started to run around and see if the game will crash because finally i was able to get in the game but no it actually did not crash so uh, yeah that's good, that's good, uh, progress, progress. Here I'm running around, you know, there was this busy street, lots of cars, and I decided to run up towards this guy, and, uh, yeah. ooh, look, the texture taxi rendered for a second. Oh, huh? how about that, how about that? Also, the at least the models look fine of the NPCs, but you need to get kind of close to actually make them fully render, which, yeah. Interesting why this doesn't run because probably some sort of hardware limitation in this demo case because it was not meant to be displayed on Intel Arc or yeah I don't know. Here as a bonus let me just proceed to show you another demo. This I found online. I have to write the credits I think below but uh, yeah it's a broadleaf forest biome. This one was actually working really good and it had even at a TSR for uh, Unreal Engine, this upscaling, and I was able to test some settings out, and here we go. Very high settings, 4K with TSR, and we get, um, how should I say, a stable 30, 40 FPS experience on 4K, but this was at performance mode, okay. Maybe with quality it would be around 30, but let's test 1443 because this is more designed to do it, and uh, yeah. We are still at 30 FPS. <laughs> but here I think I had this experimental uh, shadows on. It It's a lot of performance in this demo, but damn! The guy that made this really uh, outshined themselves with the Unreal Engine tech. It looked in person really beautiful to run around and test. And yeah, with quality settings, oh, ultra, let's try ultra. Oh, the FPS dropped to 15, not so good. Ah, virtual shadows now, yes, this is this is what I meant before talking that, so I did not have it disenabled. But now here enabling, as you can see, it, it's a lot of performance, like 15 FPS, even up to 20. And the difference was, I mean, it was, there was the difference, but uh, yeah, 
not so good. <laughs> Uh, and this settings needs uh, this texture resolution at least set to high or very high because otherwise uh, the textures are not loading look i will show you right now here i change to medium press apply poof it's a bit better but still as you can see not fully loaded i'm not sure why maybe it's this uh, demo issue or unreal engine issue i don't know so uh, as you can see now if i press on high set on high now it's a lot better ah so it needs to be very high because uh, see here it's still uh, some white textures below and around here and once you set everything on very high with virtual shadows on then it works okay really good everything displays fine no texture glitches uh, and yeah if you turn this with the shadows off obviously you can set on low and it will work just fine without those issues to test around to run around the forest and uh, yeah hope you enjoyed this video i'm sorry i was a bit late for posting because i said before new year's that i will post this video and uh, yeah make sure to subscribe like and comment on down on the video what do you think uh, if uh, Unreal Engine 5 implemented in games will be more playable than this and see you in the next one.